Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to play Mendelssohn's Wedding March or like a shortened version of it which is just the, the main theme that most people are familiar with. I'm not going to be using sheet music with this one, um, I usually do when I teach more classical but not everyone reads sheet music and this one is just very chord based. I'll teach it in the piano setting and I will demonstrate it in the organ setting as well. So if you have are uh, playing on a keyboard and you have an organ setting, um, it might be cool to experiment with different sounds to play this one. So this is in the key of C major. So it's mostly used in the white notes, but there are some added sharps in there as well. So here is middle C. If you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano, a couple of the lower notes will be slightly out of sharp, but I will just be playing, it will just be because I'm playing octaves and I want to be as zoomed in as possible to make it clear what I'm playing. So it starts off like this, you can play it, it's all in the right hand. So it goes one, two, three, C, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and you're going to add the E to that. the G to it so you're building up the C major triad there so I'll do that again starts on beat four one two three four chord. So I'm going to teach it, the rest of it now both hands. So the first chord, so you can play octaves in the left hand or you can just play a single A. But again the lowest note is just a lower A if you have that on your keyboard or piano. In the right hand you're going to play E, F sharp and C. So I've called this an A minor add sharp and sixth or the major sixth. And then the left hand's going to come up to B the right hand is going to play D sharp, F sharp and B. So this makes first inversion of B major. And then we have a B7 chord. So it's still B to the bass. Then we have A, D sharp and F sharp. So I'll do that again. One, two, three, four and. And then we have seven chord in the right hand so B D sharp F sharp and A over E's in the left hand so it's a split chord which kind of resolves into an E minor which is B E and G so we've got the left hand keeps that E down and the left hand comes up to S and the right hand is going to play a second inversion of D minor, which is A, D, F, and then you just play the Fs, A and D, and then the left hand is going to play a G and E, and the right hand is going to play G and C. So this forms a C major over G chord. And then you're going to do a quick. So you're going to quickly play B, C. And then the left hand, the thumb will move from an E to an F. And you just play a B and a D with that. So this makes a G7 chord. And then you're going to play G's together. The B and D together. And then low C in the left hand and then second inversion of C major in the right hand which is G, C and E. So I'll just do all of that again really slow. Hi there, just quickly before we continue, if you are enjoying the video so far please consider hitting that like button and say hi in the comments section below. 
If you're brand new here, please consider subscribing. You know where the button is. And make sure to hit that notifications bell so you're notified every time I upload a new tutorial and you can be the first to learn. I've left a load of playlists in the description as well to get you started. I hope you enjoy the rest of the tutorial and let's continue. based around the C major arpeggio. So C, B, G, C, E, G. So after you played that C chord, back into this again. shape down one to F, B and D, still with G in the left hand, this forms that G7 chord, a single E, and then play that G again, octaves if you want, with that F, B and D, and then C major chord, so double C's or single C in the left hand, and first inversion of C major in the right hand. So E, G, and C. I'm gonna do that from the beginning now. again so the left hand is going to play this C and then we've got the arpeggio of C C E G C and then it does the C again and then it moves up to the first inversion E G C E back to the C and then you're just going to now play the C in the left hand then the right hand is going to play and plays it an octave higher. Now just do that build up section again. Arpeggio. So we've got C, E, G under, C, E, G, back to the A minor sharp and sixth. And then blow 
G's. So that's, none of that is new. So I'm gonna do that again from the start of the octave higher part. show you it now still played slowly with the organ setting <laughs> enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request you need to click on this video which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered so I look forward to seeing you over there.